Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and the first thing I want to do before we get started, I want to say a couple things. The first thing, as always, everything we say here is an opinion. It is protected by a First Amendment right. We are allowed to protest Sweetie as much as we want. We will not be harassing him. We will be providing our opinion that we can or cannot prove. Also, on a more serious note, I want to go ahead and get this out. Um. So during the stream the other day, and I kind of mentioned this on the last video, a lot of things went down that it was something that I planned what I was aiming to do. But the way I did it is a little bit hurtful to people, and I shouldn't have done it that way. Um, so using a word like gay... Um, or uh, retard. I, I, I'm not going to say that anymore. I'm not going to use those terms anymore. We'll not be doing it. That is the last time you'll be hearing those terms coming from my mouth. Now, the only reason why I said those words is because, you know, I heard a couple people that I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have said those words as a way of insulting people. And I apologize. I do apologize. We all make mistakes, and I made a big one. You know, I was talking like I was a middle schooler. I got really into it, and I was trying to be funny, but some things are just not funny, um, even if you have the best intentions. So if I hurt anybody or offended anybody with using those terms, I do apologize. Um, you know, it hurt really bad knowing that I was, I hurt somebody's feelings. I don't take that lightly. Even though we are trying to get at Sweetie, other people shouldn't be offended or hurt by some things that I said. So from here on out, we will not be using those words. It doesn't mean we can call, we can't call Sweetie Sweetie. We just had to come up with some creative words, which I, I talked to one of my friends about that I may have heard. And, you know, I, you know, she, she kind of educated me a little bit. So, but guys, if I did hurt you, I do apologize. That being said, let's get into it. So there was a stream he did, uh, I believe it was with one of the city council members. Um, and on the video, on the video, there was a few moments that are quite uncomfortable. And the reason why I say this is we actually had a video um, a couple weeks ago where we had Sweetie trying to educate an African-American male on being an African-American male. That's racist. That, that's really racist. I mean, you know, just some of those things you, he had to remind him that he was black. You don't do that. You, you just don't. That's racism. It is. It is what it is. But we also have, during this, uh, you know, his stream, we have a few instances where he constantly reminded this man that he was black to the point where he had to the uh, person in question. I don't know if I should give names, honestly. I don't think we should give names out, but you know there will be some instances where we use the names. And basically, he, he made this person quite uncomfortable with the way he does. And I'm going to go ahead and do a montage here in a second of this stream we're going to take some clips of what happened none of this stuff was taken out of context either this was stuff that sweetie said and there has been instances of this happening more than once now from what i hear on tiktok there is a lot of users that has been after him for his racist demeanor and like i said this is my opinion i cannot prove he's racist but I do have some clips I do want to show you guys of Sweetie being 
a total toll. So let's go ahead and do that. Torture cuffs and take them to a dungeon where they go to a rape cage. I would never agree to that. Why are you endorsing a prison state death state when you're black? You're black. Most of the people m per capita who are put into a dungeon are black oh people. Oh my god, I love when non-black people tell me black stuff. This is the best thing ever. Well, That's didn't you say you agree with you agree with change, but you don't agree with my methods? That sounds like a white supremacist, just like them. Just like they said in the 1950s and 60s. I'm being honest with you, dude. Oh my god. Am I lying? Isn't that what white supremacists said? We agree that there should be change, but we don't agree with your methods. <laughs> yes, I do live in Ironton, Ohio. I just moved here, dude. I just moved here. It's okay. gonna take me a little so, while to so. get my place lined up. Get my license switched over. I moved to Ironton, Ohio, dude. I've told okay. the whole world. Okay. If, well, I deal, if I don't and, do and, it, I've lied. Also, listen, just so you know, you're actually supposed to give your address. Every other person that addresses the city council lists their name and their address. I can give you the so address, address I'm staying at until my residency is completed, but I don't want to announce Eugene's address where, I'm, where I have my mail going. It's not right. Okay. I don't want to announce his address because people are stalking me, dude. I'm not okay. sure if you know well, that or not. Just because, okay, I, yeah, I've heard. Guess who else and, got stalked? Guess, no, guess, no, no, guess who and, else and got followed around? Say, listen, and I want to say this. I want to say this. If that's the case, which I, I don't doubt, if that's the case, that's wrong. I, I apologize that that's the case for you. I, I, I'm not in favor of anybody being stalked. That I'm being, being said, stalked, dude. I carry that, a gun. That being said, that's a fair thing to do. Anytime I'm wrong, I will always retract it publicly. Always. I will always tell the people the truth because they'll find out the lies. There's no lying anymore. The camera is everywhere now. Transparency is everywhere. TikTok class, thank you. Uh, and you keep on trying so, to insult me by saying it's a TikTok class, but the next generation, you know, Generation Z, is going to change this country, bro. Okay, great. So then you can make fun of TikTok it. all you want, but tic the TikTokers <laughs> will change this world. You have no idea. Okay. You have no idea, oh, okay. dude. Hopefully they vote. Okay. Hopefully Gen Z votes. But yet you keep on impounding people's cars. I keep on telling you guys, eventually we're going to get to a class action lawsuit. It's going to come sooner or later. It will come. Eventually people will come. It's not funny. It's not. It, see, the thing is, is guys like you who laugh in a conversation where I'm very serious, I, I just think it's ridiculous. This is not a joke. Everybody's watching them. Everybody's watching. You know why? Because the agent of change has arrived and the people are getting on board. This bullshit system of putting people in a dungeon, putting them in torture cuffs has to end. And I figured that you, being a black man, would have some semblance of reality. It's not working. 314 mil there's 314 Americans, million people in America. 7 million people will be taken to jail this year. 7 million people. Per capita. Answer my question, Chili. Per capita. I don't you want to talk about black either. folks, white folks, Mexican folks? What do you want to talk about here? We have, I'm talking about Americans. I'm talking Americans. about sheer, I'm talking about pure Chilly, numbers. Chilly, Chilly. You realize jail is hell. It's literally hell on earth. And you endorse it. And, and you're black, which is amazing to me. It's your brethren. Amazing, it's mostly your brethren. Is you can, what is amazing to me, wait, my brethren? Your my brethren. brethren. Your how brethren. About the fact that we're all just, how about the fact that we're all Americans? You know? That's not how it's Why worked in our country. Different? Our laws were created uh, based on racism. Hey, hey, hey. That's hey, how Mr. it's worked. Mr. Hey, Mr. Enlightened. I am enlightened, brother. That's for sure. Okay. If, you're, if, you're, if you're so enlightened, why do, you, why do you keep perpetuating this race thing and thinking that it's Because we have racist sense? laws. The laws that oppress our people today are based on there's racism. No, there's, there's no question. Hey, there's no question about that. But we also have misogynistic laws. So now that we viewed that and we got to see some moments where, again, I don't know why he does this. Why does he have to constantly remind the guy that he's black? Why does he try to educate him on being black? That's racist. That's really racist. Like, really racist. And you're supposed to be the man of the law. You're supposed to be highly enlightened. But here you are. Here you are. I mean, it's there. It's there. We can see it. He didn't have to remind you that you was white. But you had the audacity to try to remind him that he was black. Now, also, in regards to selling vehicles that have been impounded, you can actually look in the Ohio Revised Code, Section 4513.61, storing vehicles in possession of law enforcement officers or left in public property. You can actually check that out. Kind of read what's that is said. So basically, 
it is legal for a government entity to do that, which the police is a local or state or federal government entity. Now, if it was a private business, we actually got contacted by a lady in Dayton, I believe. Um, and she let me know about that. Now, if it was a private business that was doing this, maybe Sweetie would have a case, but he does not have a case. There's not going to be any civil action. There's not going to be any type of lawsuit. For Sweetie to give legal advice, let's just say, take a look at that. In Ohio, I believe you can't do that unless you're a lawyer. Pretty sure. The line between legal advice and legal information is often blurry. As a general matter, only a lawyer may give actual legal advice, whereas a non-lawyer may recite legal information. Furthermore, it is generally illegal for a non-lawyer or unlicensed attorney to offer legal advice or others otherwise represent someone other than themselves in court. So, I want to see the license you have to give out legal advice in the state of Ohio. I want to see that license. I do. I want to see that license. I would also like to know if you have transitioned completely to Irons in Ohio. Are you living here permanently now? Or is this another one of your attempts to try to gather more of your cult-like members, and that's what they are, in my opinion. So I would like to see these things. I would, I would, I would. Now, I'm not trying to be an ass. Unlike you, 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 you're banking this part on yourself. And this is my opinion. This is all my opinion. And I am protesting you. Chili. I mean, sweetie. By the way, by the way, there apparently, like I said in the last video, where he deleted his comments and where he asked, why did I put his name in the title, which I didn't. I just said sweetie of delete laws. There is no sweetie of delete laws, but I guess there is now. So he is now sweetie for here on out, in my opinion. That's can't prove it, but that will be him for the rest of the time he is around. Now, he has this thing where he's trying to justify there not being a new jail in Ironton, Ohio. You know, he said multiple times that jail is hell. You get torture cups and you get put in a dungeon. Mr. Sweetie, I would like to see a video. I would like to see video proof of you being in jail, and we know you've been in jail. We know this. But I would like to see video proof of you getting tortured. Now, you can say you're torture cuffs, which they're not. They're restraints, not torture cuffs. Shut your fucking mouth. That's, that's the end of it. And your dungeon, I would like to see you getting video of you being in the situation. And there should be video. If you can get that video and prove that you was being tortured without reasonable doubt. Now, I know you say something on the lines of, we get shit food in jail. You expect a convict to get a fresh steak, a fresh four or five star dinner. Here's another thing. Let's get rid of jails. Let's get rid of the police. By your logic, by your logic, if you can say that I'm over exaggerating, you don't want there to be police. You don't want there to be a jail. So, your logic, somebody can just rape somebody, murder somebody, steal from somebody. But as soon as they get caught by the police and put in the dungeon, that's where you draw the line. See, you're wanting it to be a dystopian future where there's no cops. No gels. A form of anarchy. I don't know what you're trying to prove. People should be responsible for their actions. Take the punishment. If I went out today 
and shot somebody, I would expect to be punished for that. I, I should expect going to jail. I should expect getting put in a cruiser with torture cuffs, which, again, they are restraints, not torture cuffs. I would like for you to prove, too, though, those are torture cuffs. Did you get tortured? Was they torturing you? Pretty sure they don't, but your logic is, I don't know. I don't understand your logic. I don't think anybody understands your logic. That's why only two people showing up to your little protest at the auction. And we have video of that as well. Now, was there a lot of people that joined your rally in Ironson where you said you was going to have uh, some hundreds of people pass out flyers that says no new jail? That didn't happen either. Probably just two people showing up. You and your little buddy that's always with you. With his tail between his legs. I mean, did anybody show up to your seminars? Nobody shows up to your seminars. You might get two or three people. Thousands of people are not watching your videos live. You say people are watching live thousands. Now, you might get a thousand or ten thousand views on a video, but during these streams, you're only mustering up a few hundred people. Now, I know a channel of my size, and sweetie, I know you have 34, and you'll have 100,000 followers by, you know, in the summer. It's no big deal. You're that popular. Everybody's watching you. Everybody. Everybody. I mean, everyone. Everybody stops what they're doing and watches you when you speak. The only reason people watch you while you speak, because you have... Some pretty crazy things you say. But I want to see your license that gives you the right to give legal advice in the state of Ohio. I want to see your attorney's license. I want to see that. Produce that. Also, while we're at it, while we're at it, I actually contacted. And you actually shared this post um, with some book. Well, I believe you shared it on your Facebook, maybe. So, Chad Yu... He is a police officer there in Ironton. Challenge you to what you've been wanting. You've been asking. You've been asking people to challenge you in the gym, sign papers, do charity. You said you love to grapple. That's your favorite thing. We have that on video too, by the way. You said you want to do that. I don't know if that's just an excuse to touch some people. I don't know. I don't know if that's what it is. I mean, you should be jumping at this chance to face off against this uh, man. But I don't see you doing that yet. Now, now, there's a lot of people that would jump in line for that opportunity. And since you are an alpha Chad that you say you are, you're, su you're a super alpha Chad. We should all be afraid of you. We should be. We should. We should be afraid of you and your cock sock. We, we should be. I mean, that's where you get your powers from, is your cock sock. That and your, your, what, your armor for fighting diabetes? I mean, fucking Superman. You're just like a almost good-looking Wolf of Brimley sh shouting out about the diabetes. It's okay. It's okay. Why do you... A lot of people probably won't get that reference, but we'll, we'll leave it at that. But I want to see you take this offer up. Now, he is getting promoters. And I believe he said he would like to do this in September. Now, since you are a big boy, since you're really good at grappling, you're really good at MMA, you're really good at wiping people's teeth across the ground, since you're good at that, you should accept this. And he said he'll do it for charity. He said he would. I've got the video for it. I do. It's actually on his channel. Check that out. Actually, I'll let you guys, I will leave a, 
I'll leave a link in the description. The username is Leducator810 MMA Response Training Progress. Check that out. Just check it out. I will be speaking with a few people. There'll be some interviews with some pretty good people. We got the Irons and Auditor. We got a couple of your friends that you really love. We'll be uh, interviewing them as well. But this is where I'm going to end the video. This is where I'm going to end the video. So at this point, you should remember, I want to see your license that allows you to give legal advice in the state of Ohio. I want to see that. I want to see it. I want you to prove you have that. Now, you can protest. You can give people information, but you cannot give people legal advice without a license. So what you are doing is against the law. It is. There's no doubt about it. We can look that up. We can. It's really easy really easy so at this guys i'm going to let this video in right here i hope you guys enjoy feel free to hit that follow button hit that subscribe button look out for interviews later this week with a few people i will not give out their names just yet but this should be a surprise uh, also check out blue bacon and mass hall reports give them some love feel free again hit that follow button hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon